Before you invest thousands of dollars and four years of your life in college, there's something you really need to hear. Artificial intelligence isn't coming, it's already here. And there are going to be a lot of college degrees that are absolutely worthless. And I have compiled a list of the top 30 college degrees to avoid. But I'm not just gonna give you a bunch of bad news. I'm gonna follow this up with a top 30 college degrees that are just about AI proof. And my goal is to help you navigate this massive change that is happening because of AI. Um, I want you to adjust and survive this. So whether you be a high school student looking to go into college or you're looking to make a career change, this list is going to help give you an idea of where you can go and what you can change your occupation to and still make an income. So let's get going. Now, before we get started, I want you guys to know that I realize that colleges offer some of the stupidest degrees I've ever heard of. And you wonder how in the world are they going to get a job in that? What use is that? I already know that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on the the college degrees to avoid that were good jobs. They were good fields to go into. Very respectable. And so I'm not talking about, you know, emotional porpoise studies in Jamaica or something like that. I'm not talking about a degree in something like that. All right, here's a list of 30 degrees that are basically useless. So you would be a fool to go get a degree in any of these right now because AI can not only do that job better, it can do it faster and it does it cheaper and it doesn't require a paycheck. So you need to avoid these. All right, let's go. Office administration, data entry, human resources, accounting, technology, bookkeeping, logistics, supply chain management, retail management, financial planning, investment management, market research, economics, quantitative finance, journalism, communications, advertising, public relations, technical writing, web development, IT help desk, software testing, networking tech, actuarial science, statistics, operations research, graphic design, animation, music production, photography, and game design. Now, it used to be a lot of these degrees that I just read offered an amazing career with very high pay. But now, things like journalism, web design, graphics artists, all of that stuff is being replaced by AI. Right now, a two-year-old can tell AI to create something very amazing, even better than what you can come up with if you had one of these degrees. So you want to avoid these fields. Now take a deep breath. This isn't about fear. It's about being smart. Now here are 30 degrees that still hold strong career potential because they require human empathy, critical thinking, hands-on problem solving, and real world presence. So the first degrees I'm going to tell you about are in healthcare and medical. They are nursing, medicine, dentistry, physical therapy, pharmacy, radiological technicians, occupational therapy, paramedicine, such as your paramedics and EMTs. Now your human services, those are going to have a hard time being replaced by AI as well, because those kind of require a human presence. So let's get into those. Psychology, social work, 
education, and I'm talking teachers, special education, speech and language pathology, human development. So the next group is engineering and trades. Now, some of these jobs are, you're going to be using AI in the job, but they still require a human presence to be there. And that's, you're not going to easily be replaced. So let's get into that. Electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, construction management, welding technology, HVAC, plumbing. What HVAC is, is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. And architecture. So the next group of degrees I would consider a little more risky, but I don't want to exclude them. They're advanced technology degrees. And you have to be really smart and really particular about where you get these degrees and what you learn there because the technology is changing so fast and AI is actually doing part of these things. But there still is a, a need for humans to be involved. So let's get into that. Computer science, cyber security, software engineering, information systems security, data science, which is ethical and applied. So the next group of degrees are law, policy, and sustainability. And they are criminal justice degree, environmental science, agricultural science, and of course, a lawyer degree, a law degree. Now, I had predicted that eventually lawyers will all be replaced by AI, but not for a little while. Right now, it's going to be the paralegals that work under the lawyers that they're letting go right now. But lawyers are safe for a little while. But do you risk going for many years to school to get a law degree only to come out and find out they're going to use AI to represent people? And if you were a lawyer, would you want to go against an artificial intelligence lawyer? Especially when they have access to all human knowledge. Now, don't overlook this next one, and that is trade schools. Well, some people are chasing prestige. Some of the smartest people are chasing stability and skill. Welders, electricians, plumbers, diesel mechanics, HVAC techs, these jobs are in high demand and they pay well. And AI can't come fix your busted water pipes and rewire your house. Not yet anyway. This isn't about doom and gloom. It's about choosing wisely. Your future doesn't have to be uncertain. Choose a path that uses your mind, your hands, and your heart, and maybe even a welding torch. The world will always need smart, skilled humans. Be one of them. So I hope you got something from this video. And if you know somebody that could really benefit from what I just said, please share this video with them because my goal is to help as many people as possible during this crazy changing times. This is the artificial intelligence revolution and evolution. And I'm gonna keep an eye on it. And as people lose their jobs, have their lives changed without them wanting them changed. I'm going to keep an eye on things and try to warn you about guys about things. And I'm going to try to give you tips and tricks to deal with this. And so that is going to be my job. So in the meanwhile, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'm going to keep giving you more information just as fast as I can. So till next time, Mr. Bufo signing out.